Welcome back to the WTF Files and the first episode of Spirits and Hauntings. Today, we're heading south to the heart of Texas, to a once grand hotel shrouded in legend, the Baker Hotel in Mineral Wells. This abandoned giant has stood empty for decades, but whispers of its haunting past linger. From restless spirits to phantom smells, the Baker Hotel is a paranormal hotspot. Buckle up because we're about to crack open this chilling Texas landmark where you check in, but never check out. Our story begins in the Roaring Twenties, a time of boundless optimism and architectural ambition. Enter T.B. Baker, a man with a vision as grand as his signature cigars. Baker, a self-made oil tycoon, dreamt of creating a luxurious spa destination unlike any other. He envisioned a place where weary travelers could revitalize in mineral-rich baths, indulge in cutting-edge amenities, and revel in a bygone era's elegance. Thus, the Baker Hotel was born. In 1929, the Baker Hotel opened its doors, and mineral wells transformed overnight. Affluent guests flocked from all corners of the country, marveling at the hotel's innovative features. The Baker Hotel had become the crown jewel of mineral wells, a beacon of luxury and sophistication. However, time, like a relentless tide, began to erode the Baker Hotel's grandeur. The discovery of new oil fields elsewhere led to mineral wells' decline. Tourism dwindled, and the once bustling hotel fell silent. The cutting-edge features marvels in their time became relics of a bygone era. Automatic lights flickered erratically, the once invigorating mineral baths grew stagnant, and the opulent ballrooms became hollow echoes of laughter long gone. The whispers began. Rumors of restless spirits, unexplained occurrences, and a pervasive sense of melancholy that clung to the decaying walls. As the Baker Hotel faded into disrepair, a new kind of visitor arrived, the paranormal investigator. Drawn by the hotel's chilling reputation and the whispers of the unexplained, these intrepid souls ventured into the decaying halls armed with their tools. Archive footage reveals teams conducting electronic voice phenomena, EVP sessions. The disembodied whispers captured on their recordings send shivers down the spines of even the most skeptical viewers. In some areas, electromagnetic field EMF meters flicker wildly, hinting at unusual energy fluctuations that defy scientific explanation. These phenomena fuel the fire of the hotel's haunting, adding another layer to the Baker Hotel's unsettling mystique. There's been 29 reported deaths in here, is what I've been told. Douglas Moore wasn't a name that echoed through the grand halls of the Baker Hotel during its opulent years. He was just a teenager, a bright-eyed bellhop in 1948, barely a whisper in the hotel's illustrious history. But a tragic twist of fate turned him into a chilling footnote, forever entangled with the Baker's unsettling lore. Historical records tell a grim tale. An accident involving a service elevator claimed Douglas's life. The specifics remain shrouded in some mystery, but the loss of such a young life left an undeniable mark. This whispers take on an even more unsettling tone when linked to the Baker Hotel's spectral reputation, the half-torso spirit. Guests and investigators alike have reported encounters with a shadowy figure, a torso with no legs, lingering near the service elevator area. Is the half-torso spirit a manifestation of Douglas's unfinished life, a fragment of his soul forever trapped in the place of his demise? Some believe the playful spirit of the teenager lingers, forever young and incomplete, a constant reminder of the tragedy that unfolded. Historical archives hold no record of a mistress or jilted lover connected to the hotel's founder. Yet, whispers paint a vivid picture, a stunning woman with fiery red hair and piercing green eyes, forever draped in a flowing white gown. Sightings are reported throughout the hotel, with some claiming a particular fondness for the seventh floor, especially the southeast corner, once rumored to be a wealthy guest's opulent suite. Theories swirl around her identity, a tragic guest who took her own life, an employee who met an untimely demise, or perhaps even an urban legend born from the hotel's decline and our fascination with the paranormal. Thomas, a wisp of a boy, wasn't a guest seeking luxury, but a flicker of hope. His illness, a cruel twist of fate, brought him to the Baker Hotel's famed mineral baths. 
but the opulent halls held little comfort for the ailing boy. One day, drawn by the melody of a grand piano, Thomas stumbled upon a pianist. For a brief moment, amidst the confines of his illness, he found solace in the music. Sadly, Thomas's time was short. The whispers claim that on quiet nights, a melancholic melody can be heard, played by unseen hands. Some believe it's the pianist, forever playing the song that brought joy to the little boy. Others believe it's Thomas himself, his spirit tethered to the place where he found a moment of solace, a reminder of life's fragility and music's enduring power. Stories abound about the restless spirit of T.B. Baker himself. The man who meticulously planned and constructed this grand dame is said to remain forever tethered to his creation. Guests who have dared to spend a night within the Baker Hotel report the lingering scent of his expensive cigars in the Baker Suite, even though smoking has been banned for decades. Some believe T.B. Baker's spirit lingers, forever seeking to ensure his creation remains as opulent and flawlessly maintained as he envisioned. Others whisper of a more malevolent presence, a restless soul forever trapped within the walls of his grand ambition. The Baker Hotel's chilling allure extends far beyond the realm of paranormal investigators. Many guests drawn by the hotel's reputation and historical significance have reported unsettling experiences. A sense of unease pervades the halls, a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Objects move on their own, doors creak open and shut without explanation, and disembodied whispers echo through the empty corridors. These experiences fuel the fire of the Baker Hotel's legend, solidifying its place as a hotspot for the paranormal. Some believe that the whispers of the past will forever remain, a haunting echo of the bygone era that continues to hold the Baker Hotel in its thrall. If you're curious about other purported paranormal hotspots, be sure to check out more episodes of Spirits and Hauntings here on the WTF Files channel. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like as it really helps this channel grow. We appreciate you joining us for this exploration. If you enjoy exploring the paranormal with us, then subscribe to the WTF Files for more chilling mysteries and haunting investigations. Until next time, stay curious.